Well, the Dodgers responded by playing their best game of the series in Game 4. They win 8 nothing with all the pressure on their backs. They absolutely dominated. It was a bullpen game, and their bullpen was perfect. Ryan Brazier, Anthony Banda, Michael Kopech, Alex Vigia, Evan Phillips, Daniel Hudson, Blake Trinan, Landon Knack. Eight different pitchers, and they none of them allowed a single run. In fact, the Padres were held to only seven hits. Um, nobody had more than one hit except for David Peralta, who went two for four. It was a rough game for the Padres. Luis Arias continued to struggle at the top of their lineup. Meanwhile, Dylan Cease starting on short rest, um, and this would have been Musgrove's start. You have to wonder. If the Padres have Musgrove, this series might have looked a lot differently, but they didn't, and that's just how it worked out. But Dylan Cease allowing three earned runs, then Brian Hoeing allowing two, and then Wandy Peralta allowing one. Padres, they lose 8-0. The Dodgers runs. Mookie Betts hits another home run. Otani going one for three with an RBI, a couple of walks. Will Smith with a two-run homer. Gavin Lux with a home run and two runs batted in. Everybody was playing well for them. Chris Taylor, by the way, Played four positions, center field, third base, back to center field, and then left field. Just a, a, a crazy good defensive game for him, even though he goes 0 for 4. And with an 8 0 lead, all of a sudden going back to the Dodgers, the Dodgers had the momentum. And at that point, it felt pretty obvious that my Padres, unfortunately, were probably going to lose.